Polka dot, polka dot, Grandma polka dot, polka dot, polka dot, Grandma polka dot, Grandma polka dot, Grandma polka dot. Welcome to Grandma Polka Dot's home. I want to show you some sweet things. This is a picture of my mother. Her name was Marcia May, and I'm named after her because my name's Grandma Polka Dot, but my real name is Marcia Dot. And I was named after someone else very special too, my Grandma Dot. She was a little teeny baby, only three pounds, and they brought her home in a shoebox and made a little incubator in the oven for her so she would stay warm, and they thought that she wouldn't live. So they said, we're gonna name you Mary Dot to remind us God gave us a dot. And do you know what? Grandma Dot lived, and she graduated from the university and she taught math her whole life. She rode in a horse and buggy to school to teach kids how to do math, how to do arithmetic. And when she passed away, I went down to choose something and I chose Mama Pig. The reason I chose Mama Pig is it was the way that my school teacher, Grandma, taught me to be polite. We would say, can I have a cookie, can I have a cookie? And my grandma would say, no. We'd say, please, please, can I have a cookie, please? No. And then we would say, may I please have a cookie? And grandma would say, yes, you may. And she would take the lid off and put it under her arm and we would reach in and get not so good of a cookie because she wasn't a very good cook. But I loved Mama Pig, the little cookie jar from the real Grandma Dot's house. I wanna tell you one other thing about being polite. It's a Disney character. Do any of you know who that is? That is, well, some of you guessed it, Thumper. Thumper, and he was called that because he would thump his little foot like that. That's why he was named Thumper. Did you know that? And in my kitchen, my whole life, I've had the words written on the wall from a Thumper quote. And the Thumper quote says this. It's how to be polite. Thumper said, if you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. If you can't say something nice, don't say anything at all. Here I am at Grandma Polka Dot's home with Tessa Licious. Tessa Licious is a cute little pig that I just love. Tessa Licious, you're so much fun. Thank you. And Tessa Licious is very polite. She is one polite pig. And she's gonna tell us a little bit how a pig does polite. As a pig, I make decisions all day long. Like, hmm, should I roll in the mud? And I say to the farmer, hmm, may I please roll in the mud? And he says, yes, you can roll in the mud. And then I roll in the mud. And say the farmer calls, Tessalicious, little pinky. And I can't say, I don't want to answer him. I say, yes, Mr. Farmer, what do you need? I'm very polite to the farmer. And like, say the farmer says, it's time to come and eat, and I want to take a nap. <laughs> I never take a nap, but I could be eating. And you know, there are times when I think kids are very impolite. Like one of the times I've noticed is when they're at the checkout stand at stores, like at grocery stores, and they just scream that they want another piece of candy, or they just scream that they want to buy something their mom didn't buy. Oh, that's just unheard of, that's so impolite. Children need to be polite, yes, I think so too. Another time I've noticed that kids aren't polite is when their mother asks them to do something, like pick up the toys, or set the table for the, for dinner, set the dishes on the table, or something like that. Or, or maybe they're impolite when they're in the car and they want to sit in the front seat or they want to sit in a certain place. And they just get so angry and they're so mean to their mommies over things like that. Yes, I, I know that sometimes children are impolite and I, I don't appreciate it. I think they need to get good at being polite. They need to say, may I? And please? And thank you? Just like Grandma Dot taught you, to, taught you to do Mother Pig, like that. Yes, that was a very important lesson for me. And I always say please and thank you, because they are very magical words. Yes, they are. And you know, people always say, I'll be polite when pigs fly. They say stuff like that. And you know 
what? You can't wait for pigs to fly because pigs can't fly. Dumbo could fly, but pigs cannot fly. But Dumbo was an oh, elephant. Yes, but he's a he's a he's an imaginary elephant and he could fly, but I can't fly. So don't ever say I'll be polite when pigs fly. You have to say I'm going to always be polite. I like that. Say please and thank you and be polite. Polka dot, polka dot, Grandma polka dot, polka dot, polka dot, Grandma polka dot. It's gonna be positively fun, so hop, skip, run when you choose the right. The race is won. Polka dot, polka dot, Grandma polka dot, polka dot, polka dot, Grandma polka dot, Grandma polka dot, Grandma polka dot. Grandma polka dot.